Hey guys, so I'm going to be showing you how to make a holster for any sort of Nerf blaster, airsoft blaster, whatever you want to do. Some places will sell you these. I know there are guys on eBay who want to sell you leather holsters for your Maverick that are like 80 bucks, but you don't need those. All you need is duct tape, cardboard, and hot glue. In this case, I'm going to be doing all my marks with a Sharpie, but it's really easy. First thing you do is decide where you want the blaster to sit in the holster. And in my case, I want access to the trigger, so I'm putting it right there. And then you mark over at one end how deep that is into your cardboard. You fold it and mark how far that is. And then you start making indentations with your scissors. And when I say indentation, I don't mean cut all the way through. I mean I take it and I do like this. I, I just sort of press the cardboard so that it'll make that bend more readily. I'm going to do that to, to this side too. And then since I already know how deep it is, I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Just to make it easier to handle. That ought to be long enough, I think. Alright, so once you've got basically what you want there, you come up and you go along your folds and you just decide about something like that. Now that's a little tight. So I'm going to loosen it up some. That's just about perfect for what I want to do because I run around during HVZ. So take your Sharpie again and mark wherever it folds to. Then remove your blaster and come in with your hot glue and seal everything down. Now my hot glue gun is really hot, so while I wait for this to dry a little bit, I'm going to come in, I'm going to go ahead and trace the base of my holster. To do that, you just come in and trace around the bottom of your cardboard. to get the outline of whatever the bottom of your holster is. So I'm setting the other half off to dry while I come in and cut this out. Now once you've done that, you line it up with your holster, and you glue it down too. Now I'm going to use the duct tape to fasten it to my leg, and I'll show you what the the completed setup looks like. Alright guys, so as you can see I've completely finished my holster. It's held on 
at the top with a strip of duct tape and over here with two strings that I just tied to my leg. So it works really well. I had to cut a trigger hole down in here so I could quick draw it, but that works pretty well. And overall, I'm pleased with how well it comes in and out and that it stays in there when I'm running. So I'll show you real quick. This is what it looks like when I'm not wearing it. I need a better solution than duct tape at the top, but there's the two strings. I duct taped the bottom. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.